What are the pros and cons of snap cap versus screw cap? All right, let's take a look at it here. Snap cap, Pilot Metropolitan. Screw cap, now let's try and keep in the same price range. Twisby Eco, okay? So snap caps, I gotta say, I never used to care about snap caps and I really love snap caps these days. Um, part of the advantage of snap caps, very quick, right? Very easy to uncap, write a quick note, cap it again, very easy, very easy motion to do. You can often do it with one hand, da da da, write your thing. If you're talented enough, you can kind of scoop it up and close it with one hand too, very easy. Um, most pens are push to post, so that doesn't really matter as much, but capping it is very quick. Big deal there. Um, and also, you know, with the design of the pen, there's no threads when there's a snap cap. So often the step is not quite as uh, intense because you don't have to have a lot of extra material in here to cut threads into. Uh, and you will not have any threads to hold your fingers onto as you're writing. So a lot of people who are really bothered by having their fingers on threads will immediately look to a snap cap to be able to do it. Those are some good pros. Some cons? is that on some models of pens, because you're not relying on a mechanical threading system, you're relying basically on something that is pressure related. Um, over time, whatever mechanism that they've devised for doing that snap cap can possibly weaken over time, and the snap will not be as firmly grabbing anymore. Um, that is uh, the potential eventually with everything will uh, do that. How long it will take will vary a lot, pen to pen, um, but that uh, tends to be some of the complaints that I hear about them. Um, they also can be less secure, specifically if you're carrying it around on the clip, like if you have a uh, pen loop or something on your notebook and it's being carried around just by the top, the weight of the bottom of the pen, if it's really being jostled around or if you hit it just the right way, can actually separate it from the rest of the pen that's being held in there. Or I've heard of some people that will carry the pen around and they're running running around or doing whatever activity, it's clipped in their pocket and the pen can actually come separated. Um, that doesn't happen often, but there's certainly the potential is there more than with a screw cap pen. Um, so slightly less secure. And then also this will vary quite a lot, but it may or may not seal as well. Um, this will really depend on pen model as well because there's certainly screw caps that don't seal uh, as well. When I say that, I mean like they have a tendency to dry out. Um, but usually the screw cap, they can devise um, a little more stuff inside there to be able to, you know, kind of seal it up nicely and it gets to a nice like place where you can you can kind of use your own pressure to get it in place there, whereas the snap, you really can't control that. Um, so that's kind of part of it. Uh, screw cap, let's talk about those. So pros. They're very secure. This thing is not going to come undone. You'd have to literally twist it to come undone. So the chance of it coming undone on its own is very low. Um, it's gonna last a long time because it's mechanical threads that are cut into the pen. So unless those become physically damaged or something, it's gonna last probably longer than your, you know, whatever snap mechanism that you have inside here. Um, and then it uh, can often seal better, kind of a lot of the cons that I just said about the snap cap end up being pros for the other one. Um, the screw cap cons is it usually takes two hands to undo it, which sometimes is not a big deal. Like this Twisby Eco is not too bad. It's just one rotation that it takes to do it, which if it's one rotation or maybe one and a quarter, you can do it in one single motion. But if it ends up being much more than that, you can end up having to do this reposition your hands and do it again to take it undo, which doesn't sound like that big of a deal, but it is a big deal if you're capping and uncapping all day long. Um, it can slightly, you know, take slightly longer to undo it. So again, to each his own. Really, there's a lot of just there's a lot of design aspects to these pens that um, <clears throat> come into play, and certainly different manufacturers make them for different reasons. I will say, in general, you tend to see snap caps happen on less expensive pens. Um, there certainly are more expensive pens that are snap caps. Usually, the more expensive pens that are snap caps, they design more elaborate capping systems to keep them from weakening and stuff like that. Think of the Lamy 2000 as a great example. That is a snap cap, but that doesn't mean you have to worry about your Lamy 2000 not working in two years because the snap is worn out. Um, they design those more elaborately than they would say a platinum preppy or something like that. That's literally just like extra plastic that's on the cap that's relying on pressure to get that snapping motion. 
Um, so snap caps sometimes get a bad reputation for caps cracking and you know coming off and stuff like that. But I think part of that is they tend to use snap caps and build it more into the cap on those cheaper pens than they do for something like the Pilot Metropolitan. It has a little bit more elaborate mechanism than that, um, especially certainly something like the Lamy 2000 would as well. So it all depends on the design of the pen, but uh, hopefully it gives you a little bit idea what's going on with the two.